I don't be worried about no penis. Be worried about diapers and and wipes and shit, you know. But anyway, um, <laughs> hey, uh, uh, <laughs> Devo, <laughs> you said is that why y'all nails be broke? <laughs> no, Who said that? Who no. Said that? <laughs> he said, "Is that why y'all nails be broke? Like y'all have nine good yeah. nails in one." Why you trying to be pretty? It'll be two. It'd be- honestly, honestly, the reason why the nails be broken and stuff is because we be we are multitasking, we we washing dishes, yes. we, be, we taking children to school, we uh opening car doors, we open uh-huh. the sometimes they cook y'all, y'all, that's the nail be y'all beating y'all beating on us, man. Don't forget that. <laughs> I know I beat that's on why, me, that's man. why that's why the nails be broke all the time because we we always do beat on us. Don't Nobody beat on no man. <laughs> Nobody beat on no man. <laughs> All right. So the question, the the uh, second question, a topic. Okay, maintaining friendships with your recent ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend. Do y'all believe in it? Like, do you you meet somebody? She's not pregnant, or he's not got nobody pregnant. And but the in the course of y'all getting to know each other, there's like the phone ring or somebody pop up and like, oh. That's just my ex. We're just really good friends. The fuck? How do y'all feel about that? Are y'all comfortable with dating someone? Y'all done passed the uh, get to know each other phase. Now y'all are actually in a relationship. Monogamy or monogamous or whatever it's called. Monopoly or whatever. Uh, but they are wow. friends with their ex. How do y'all feel about that? And how, and how do you feel about it? And have you had a situation like that? Anybody can go. I mean, up until recently, I would have been a real big advocate on you could be friends with your ex, but there's limitations to it. But I mean, recently I've been proved wrong. That that's not true. But um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? I think it, there's boundaries to it. Like you could still be on good terms with your ex, but are they calling you, you know, every day? Are they calling you every other day? What are y'all talking about? How long are your conversations like? you know, is when something's wrong, is that the person you call? Like, there's limitations to it. But if y'all, you know, y'all see each other in the store and y'all like, yo, what's up? You know, that's that's not a big deal to me. But it's just a matter of how often are y'all conversing, you know, with the friendship? Because at the end of the day, y'all were together. So there's, you know, there's always going to be like some type of strand, string, however you want to call it there. But I mean, for me, it wouldn't be a big deal if someone's like, I'm cool with my ex or, you know, and then, yeah, I would, I, that wouldn't be a problem. It's just a matter of how often are y'all talking and like, is that someone that's still so important in your life where something goes wrong, that's the person you call, you know, something happens, is that the person you call? It's just a matter of that. So would, would you, so with your example or your answer, you see that there, it is a friendship. Would you then become friends, try to become friends with the ex as well? So y'all can just be... Why would I try to become friends with them? Because, I mean, clearly... The she's only way I would try to become friends with the, my with my current partner's ex is if they had kids. Okay. That would be the only way I would actively try to become friends with them. If they're friends, like... Because I'm a big firm believer that I don't have to be friends with everyone that you're friends with. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, if, if they're friends, if they don't have no kids or nothing like that, and they're cool, I'm not going to try to go out my way and try to be cool with her. That's y'all friendship. As long as y'all ain't crossing the lines and y'all ain't talking every day, cool. But the only way I would go out of my way and be like, you know what, let me try to be friends with her is if they, if that person had kids. Because if I'm trying to be active in this person's life, their kids are going to come into play at one point. My most important thing would be trying to make sure the mom is comfortable with me. Okay. Mm. Next person. Can I, I'm go. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a firm believer. I am a true definition. I'm, I'm going to get very personal on this. Okay. You cannot be friends with your ex. And, and, and as much as I want to say you can, let me be, let me be honest. I am very much, I, I converse with a lot of my ex friends. And it's not, <laughs> it's not only on the honky donkey, oh, I'm doing fine. It's on the type of how you doing, baby? Let me do this. Let me do that. I miss you. Or can we do this? It's not. It's not on a friendship level. Now, if you can maintain, wow. if you can maintain that the boundaries, fine. But you do have my exes can't. So it's just like <laughs> tell me about it. Talk about my it. Exes can't. So Dirty it's just like I'm my horn. I'm addicted. So I, I, I receive it, and I'm still single. 
so I'm receiving it. But I'm just like, um, no, you, if you, if your ex are, is in another relationship, and and they if they tell you they're contacting their ex, if I'm that ex, just please note he's not being he's not being faithful. He's talking disrespectful. He's very disrespectful. He wants more pictures because I'm not in town. <laughs> I'm not in town. So they want more pictures. They want to get to know me a little. They, they, they want to know what's up, you know? So I'm not that ex that they feel like, but will I entertain it? Depends on the ex. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. So they yeah. don't wear they're not, they're not, they, they want to get to know. What, and then since the kid lost weight, they want to know a little more. So if your ex is contacting me, be aware. Okay, now this don't went from exes and friendships to a baked potato, a side dish. So are you It's saying, not even being a side dish because you have to entertain it. But these exes will come at you crazy. They okay, will come so, at you crazy. so okay, so now this is interesting because now this could be spinned off into another topic. Being that you and your partner, y'all broke up. Your partner which is now your ex, they are in another relationship. However, let's say you did a, a, a weight loss transformation or whatever, and or either they just miss you. They just miss you. They see you scroll up. They oh, see him. And then they hit you up. And they may want to have some type of, yeah, you know, for old times' sakes so or whatever. Now, you're currently, technically you're single, but he or she is in the relationship. You will feel comfortable still dibbling and dabbling with the ex if you feel like it because you are single and you don't owe her no her him or her no loyalty or nothing like that you know i don't can i be honest <laughs> be honest be honest i'll be very honest i have entertained an okay. ex relationship i don't now it's just cut it, 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 and it's not my birth i just felt like i was entitled to be honest i was entitled i was gonna say that i was, I was gonna say that some people, <laughs> like, some people, man or woman, they feel like, I don't care about you. I was there first. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, that's you know, literally you know how what they hit me, You know what they hit me on? They hit me on with the topic. Remember when we was talking about the tattoo topic? And I was like, don't erase my name. That's kind of made me feel like, when he said that, that's what made me feel like, well, technically, yeah, you know. But you know, I'm I'm you, know you, grow, you grow and you know that's not right. You know that's not godly. You know that you, in the future, you don't want nobody doing that to you. That's not okay. So, yeah, you don't but do we're that. Still, no. We're still growing. We're still learning. We're still growing and we're still learning, but I still felt entitled and I still did. I'm beyond, I still did it. And Wait, so was it, your, do you have kids? Mm -mm. No? Okay, so I was going to say, because I, I see a lot of that entitlement mentality with people who have kids from those people, like, especially like daddies and the baby. Oh I just, gosh. it's a vibe. Oh it's a vibe gosh. when I have my exes. Me and my exes, like, we're with cool i'm not the type of feel like when we when we when we separate it's not like i'm busting your windows or something like that it's like we just we just didn't work out you know it just didn't happen so it's like they want to get to know me they, they i mean i just they want to know how i'm doing they know to know when they want to know how i'm progressing and then the, the conversations will be will lurk they will go crazy but it's just like of course i'm not going searching for it they're coming to me i'm going i'm going to respond you know but my my all my situations all my relationships they haven't, they don't end ugly. They don't end ugly. They just, they end very peaceful. So my, I, I usually get those, those phone calls too. And it's usually always around the holidays. It's always around the holidays when um, I get the phone calls, the, hey, how are you? Just checking up on you, seeing how you're doing. And most of the time, mine isn't, I don't break up. <laughs> I don't break up. What's the word? It's not with eight. I'm Southern and I got my retainers in am amicable. How do you pronounce it? Amicably, the A word. Like you not you don't break up like on good terms. Amicable. I look Whitney. I know you know the word. Right. I know you, I know <laughs> you know how to say it. But, it's like that. Like, okay, I can but, still. But that's the him. word. So when my when my exes reach out to me on that, hey, um, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. You know. I just want to see how you was doing. Mine is always like, get the fuck off my phone. Like, you know how I'm doing. You know how I was doing before I left you. Or right, before we broke up, I'm good. I was good then and I'm better now, you know. So mine ain't never no like, 
Oh, uh, I this this is you know unless I'm just I'm not know. that angry. I'm not that angry. I'm at peace. I'm I'm not gonna give you that. I'm gonna let you know I'm good. I'm gonna let you know I'm I'm gonna ask you Are you okay? How are you? But I'm not I'm not that angry because I didn't leave you in an angry place. Even if I left you in an angry place, just your loss. You're back. And and, and and that's why I say what I be saying too because I be like you knew I would. Now I don't say it like aggressively. I I do it in that uh, nasty nice type of way. I do it like. <laughs> You know, yeah, that I'm like, you know, I'm good. I was good before you we split. You know, like I'm good now. About to get my food truck. About to get it. You know, da, 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 you know. So, but you say um, so. I have one egg. You hit me up now. Nah, he getting cussed the out. Don't do it. Don't hit me up. <laughs> I don't it think ain't nice. I won't be humble. I won't be. I won't be peaceful. <laughs> he, he, what's your what's your um response like? How do you feel about your your current boyfriend maintaining relationships with his uh, ex? Well, um, really, and by, and by the way, you guys, audience, she actually does have a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, ma'am, you better do it. Really, Ashley? You know, um, I just don't, I just don't want all the Christian men, you know, trying to come at you. I just want them to know they know they place, you know. Not the, okay, not well, the Christians. thank you for looking out. Thank you for looking out. But um, okay, so like a little bit of what everybody said, but there's something that um Whitney has said. Um, she said, I've entertained it once and I hated that I did because I didn't even want uh the guy anymore. I just wanted her to know I could have him if I wanted him. So oh! I <laughs> okay, so listen. All right, so about that, though, that brought back something. Some years ago, I, I, I did talk to a guy, and things were not cool. Things were not working out. And matter of fact, it was good that it was actually separating. Like, it was great. And I knew I couldn't be his friend, or whatever the case may be. But the girl, I, I tried. I absolutely tried. But the girl that he's actually married to her now, and she My was, God. But um, she saw me one day and I was just like smiling. I was okay. She was like, oh, you look happy. And it's like, oh, so you think you took him from me or you, you think you, oh, okay, cool. So I didn't do anything with him, but I was like, I just want you to know the same way you got him is the same way you keep him. Mm -hmm. So I called just to say, hey, meet me. They met me, left her at the house, all the chilling. So, I mean, I could have been dirty about just it. Just be taking L's, oh, man. So men is just stupid. <laughs> Whitney said this, and now you're saying this. So, and Esther said it as well. So, this is the thing. So, women, do we do this? Like, do we do, we do that? I just want you to know that I could... I could we're if malicious. I wanted to. We're malicious. That, that part. Well, yeah, that's, I've heard that. I've usually, heard that so many times. I usually don't if, do that. Everybody that's watching, women, if you've done that, drop a crown if you've done that. Like if you've like. I'm gonna be honest with you. Before you I lost you. my ex, before I lost my, I was like, if you, if you, if you, if you can get him, you can have him. But look, he be bad though. <laughs> Let's yeah, Let's I think like, everybody. I think I think a lot of us like feel like that at times. Like when we be like you know it's the it's the entitlement like she said i was here first i had him first and i it, honestly he only gone because i let him go oh, like that's so literally like, how I, 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 I did something wrong like he wouldn't be gone if i yeah. wouldn't have messed up so that's girl not, you know i well i ain't gonna say that because y'all would be ready to crucify me but what i'm like no 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 Ooh. Like in in everything, in everything, in everything, and that's just that's just he how I to keep feel. Peace in his household, you 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 go there, you he there. Yeah. You, know you know, because audacity was my word for the week for men. The audacity. We do like that's just yeah. what it is. But y'all y'all not gonna front and say y'all don't have the entitlement. That I, is a gene <laughs> that is embedded in y'all <laughs> DNA. <laughs> it's it's not it's not that I did it as far as the entitlement or the fact that I was there. It was the point that she bragged in my face. 
But that's like, what makes y'all feel entitled, though. It's always something that no, comes I didn't that makes you... I just wanted her to know you have to be careful how you brag about stuff or what you're doing or what you did. Mm-hmm. That's a word. To you thinking <laughs> that you took a guy. Like, you, hey, you, that's a word. You have, to be, you have to be careful about that because bragging could get you in some trouble. Like, bragging can show you up to say, oh, you really think this? And then, and then that's it. So... Yeah. At the time, because I was upset, I was mad, and I was angry and hurt, I was a little petty to try to show, you know, to show her that, yeah, keep bragging. But I still was, I didn't cross that line with him, wasn't going to cross that line with him. I refused to cross that right. line right. and everything like that. But as far as, like, to answer the specific question, um, I, I've, I've grown to be the person that I give you trust. You get, like, point, point one trust. It's either you get the zero or it's either you could get to a hundred. It's up to you. But you start with point one trust. And if you break that, because I do know for sure some relationships don't work. Sometimes there are relationships that they are better off best friends than they are being together. Mm. And they literally can be the best of friends, like Mm -hmm. nothing ever happened. And so, I mean, that is out there. I know a few that's like that and everything. Fortunately, me and my best friend, me and my exes don't have to be best friends. I'm fine. But I, that's just how I, I've grown to be, is I give you that point one trust. And it's either you add to that point one or you take away from that point one. Either way, that decision is going to be you. So that's kind of how, how I, so it's like a 50-50 for me. It all depends the situation. Okay. I was going to say. Daniel, what's your take on it? I feel, um... I just feel like it depends on a couple things. I feel like it depends on the person. It depends on their maturity. You know what I'm saying? From both parties. I feel like it's possible. I don't feel like it's possible for me per se, but I feel like it's possible. And it, the only, but it's, there's underlining reasons for that for me. My trust issues came from infidelity. You right. feel what I'm saying? My trust issues came from that's my cousin. That's my baby mama's best friend. That's my that's my best friend's sister, brother, like what, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that it stems from that to where the lies is what kind of messed my trust issues up. So I don't care who you know. I, you got you're guilty until proven innocent. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. but I feel like it's possible for somebody who has, like you said, some people just know that they're better off being best friends and they have no intention of taking that any further, even if they were, you know what I'm saying? Even if they were sexually active with each other, I I believe it's possible. It just depends on the person. You know what I'm saying? It depends on their damage. It depends on how they broke up. You know, there's a lot of factors that play into it. Everything plays a part in it. Yeah. But it, it, it just comes down to trust for me. I don't, you know what I'm saying? If you tell me, yeah, we're best friends, but we used to smash. We never was in a relationship, but we used to smash. I still don't want you dealing with him because that's something that you was in a physical relationship. I would respect you if I'm if I'm coming into this relationship and you know I have a best friend and she we were intimate and you say, "Man, I'm not comfortable with that." All right, um, mm-hmm. I'm holler at you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, so it just depends on somebody has said in here. It depends on the um the respect i think it was i think it was uh d moses it depends on the respect that that happens i, I like i said there's people that have done it it's just you know i, I you got to show me something because i might not say nothing right then and there but you best believe i'm watching i'm not going to make it difficult for us until i start seeing you on the phone with him at, at bad hours when you are you coming from or heading to his house when you leaving me absolutely not we're gonna have a conversation you know what I'm saying? So that's All just right. my take on it. Okay, I, I want to go back to the D Moses. Um, hi, how are you? Uh, you said Daniel's making me proud. He's <laughs> like, he's making me proud as well. Like within the first like yeah, ten I, minutes, I was like, oh, he's different. You know, listen, but, um, I'm gonna talk my truth. But listen, <laughs> uh, as far as the outnumbered, um, we do. I do invite guys up here. So if you're interested, you know, come on. Like, I would love invite. to. If you get him on, please can I I just want to I want to be on with him too. I would All absolutely right. love Yeah, but I to I try to on. get as many black men up here as possible because us women we have questions. 
you know, and we're not like, we're not the, oh, no, you didn't. We're the type mm-hmm. where we're like, okay, I, I, yeah. So we listen, mm-hmm. we respect everybody's opinion, but, you know, hence that I've noticed, like, these are things that we think about, I think about, everybody think about, but we're just having these conversations, like, privately, but now we're bringing it publicly. But um, we ain't jumping. I don't want you, because it's, it's, it's four of us, we ain't jumping it, you know. But, okay, so here's my here's my take, and then we can move on. Um, I really don't, whenever I meet people, I, or guys, I, um, I let them know from the get-go. I was like, we're either going to be one of three things. We're either going to be, um, business partners. We're going to do business together. We're going to be in a relationship, lovers, or we're going to be friends. Ain't no, because I'm grown. Ain't mm. no, we lovers. We, we, we did business and I'm fucking on you. Now we lovers. And then we and ain't work out, and now we friends. I don't do that because I don't. I don't want to have to moving on with my life. I don't want to have to deal with like what Daniel was saying, like my guy, my new guy, like wondering, like, hmm, is she really over there teaching him mm-hmm. how to make funnel cakes, or is she I over can't. there, you know, I, naked right. on the apron? You know, I ain't doing all that. You know, and so I overthink too much. Like, for I that. Just don't, I'm an overthinker. I, I just can't. You. So yeah, like, I don't. I don't bring those don't problems. Know. So I always give guys a choice to choose, like what it is, which one of the three you want from me, you know. And then they can choose which one they want. But at the end of the day, it's my decision on, you know, if I choose to do that with them or whatever. But I, I don't. I prefer. I think we're grown. I just think like, what's the point of dealing with your ex as a friend? Like, un- unless y'all have children, unless, unless you have children. Have yeah. children. That's that's mm-hmm. on time. But other than that, move the fuck on. Like, there's no reason y'all done had y'all time. Y'all done been together a year, two, three, four, five, six. If you won't talking and didn't have good communication, doing that one, two, three, four, five, what the fuck? No. Stop playing with me. Like, we're not doing that. So, some women may be fine with that. And it's not an insecure thing because I know the quality. <laughs> I know the I know the qualities that um, I possess. So it's not insecurity. It's not no lef- low self-esteem. It's just the fact that grow the fuck up. Like, if y'all did not communicate, y'all did not take the time to say, hey, we having issues in our relationship. Let's go to individual therapy because I'm an advocate for therapy. Let's go to individual therapy. Let's go to group therapy. Count. Like, if you didn't try to work on it and communicate while y'all was together, how That's come it. all of a sudden now, like, you with me, now she, hey, how you doing? Just want to check. He fine. <laughs> and then, cause I'm, cause I'm in the background saying he all right, you know. <laughs> not, I'm not saying. I'm looking like the crazy girlfriend, you know, and insecure. Like, who is that? You know who I am. Google me, you know. Like devil's advocate. My, my, my boy is not allowed to talk to his ex. I'm <laughs> playing devil's advocate. To put those not rules in, like they should automatically know. Okay. Devil's advocate. Yeah, I was saying if I'm playing devil's advocate, not everyone breaks up because of poor communication skills. For all you know, it could be something way left field of why they broke up. It's Give me something. About, Give me something. Like, let's say maybe they couldn't, maybe, I don't know, maybe they couldn't, like something stupid, like maybe they couldn't agree on where to live or maybe how my situation might be one day where I don't want kids. They want kids. That's why we broke up. We have great communication skills, but at the end of the day, we want different things. But if y'all have great communication skills, you're going to talk about that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe we've talked about it. Maybe we were trying to get through that, and then oh, that part just didn't work out. Okay, so let's go with... Well, here, here's my question. Here's my question, if I may. Okay. Oh, the end of the outcome. So... Like, I'm just saying, based off of what Ashley was saying when she was like, right. y'all have great communication skills. Why y'all got good communication skills now? I'm just saying. Ashley probably be like, I don't give a fuck. No way. <laughs> I, I, I'm not doing that because, like, first off, kids should be a topic of discussion from the get-go. So, I'm not, not saying, I mean, like, soon as you meet a person. Think about stuff, though. Huh? Like, if you, it's something that y'all are continuously talking about. Here. It's not necessarily, like, <laughs> Maybe that person was not like, I want kids or I don't want kids. Maybe they're just like, I'm still on the fence about it, you know, but I want to see where this relationship goes. And maybe it's something that was going back and forth. And, you know, see, see, that's, see, that's the thing. There's it's just like, different. I'm just saying, like, and that's just an example. It's not yeah. always about like, we broke up because we couldn't communicate type of thing. That was just an example. We're not talking about specifically that specific issue. That's just what came out the top of my head first. But 
I'm mm-hmm. just saying, like, it's not always like we have bad communication. That's why we broke up. Right. Right. Well, I have a question. Is, broke up. Move on. Right. I was about to say, and my thing is like, my I know we got to move on, but my question is, what are you holding on to that you need to remain a friendship with them? That's my question. Like, for well, me, not, whoever whoever, whoever breaks up with me, whoever like, or, or if I get out of a relationship and they hit me with the, hey, I, I have no problem being friends. Let's be friends. The main thing I hit them with is, I don't need no more friends. Mm. I really don't. I'm, well, I'm 27 years old. With new people. I was with you with for a reason. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, that's what I'm talking about. It's a matter of the level of communication that's going on. Like when we're talking about friends, like are we talking about like we're like in communication like on an often basis because that I'm not okay with but if it's just like maybe like oh I your uncle you know I know has like you know a good tire place let me call him up and see if I can get some tires from his place you know like once in a while (laughs) or if y'all see each other in public can y'all be cool type of thing that's why I was saying like there's there's a level to the community communication type of thing like if y'all are on a daily like communication basis where you like need to talk to them I'm not but I still I still but if y'all are cool like we're like you know I'm cool with somebody being cordial I think that's the word that would be for me at Walmart like you said if I see you at Walmart God bless you good to see you but I'm not holding a conversation your mama say hey why you can't hold a conversation how the family (laughs) The family doing well? That's fine. That's All right, it. now you have a good one. Be that's best. conversation, not, That's just small talk. But so what I'm saying, you get what I'm, but I'm not going to sit here. I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm not going to speak now. Yeah. I'm being picky, but I'm just saying that's still a conversation. It's small talk, but it's still you're splitting heads. You're splitting heads. You're splitting heads. You know what you're doing. You're splitting heads here, okay? <laughs> what I'm saying what I'm saying is, I don't, like I said, I don't need any more friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, especially for, if I'm, I'm 27, okay? Like, I'm, I'm, I I am in the dating scene to find my wife. Mm. So if you're, if you're, if you're back here, if you're back here, if you're back here, right? You're over here because we done went through this timeline and I done passed by you and it didn't work out. Not saying that I won't spin the block. If I'm single, hold up now. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if I if I move on from you and there's somebody else, I have no reason to talk to you. No, I have no reason to communicate with you. I have no reason. I have a reason to be cordial because I'm a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna sit here and 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 have you on speed dial like they did in the old days or anything. Not. You know what I'm saying? But but that's what men. That's what men and women do, and they make the excuse as. We were just better off as friends. Oh, when that's behind so closed door, behind closed doors, y'all still hung. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't for me is I'm trying to keep it pushing. And if you're not, if you're not on the same train as Daniel, the next stop, I'll help you off the train. Mm-hmm. But I don't need to say nothing to you after that. You get what I'm saying? Like, if, if, am I making sense? I'm saying. Like, Yo, that's why I said I don't, I don't feel the need. That's why I asked. What is? What are you holding on to? I feel like somebody else that has a friend that 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 they were e- either intimate with or romantically intimate with. You're holding on to something. That's just me. What are you holding on to? What is the traits that I don't have that I don't possess that you still want from him? You get what I'm saying? Like you can't have over it. Yeah, and, and I need you to be over that. I need you unless you have kids. Like I said, listen. That's why Daniel I have no I, problem. Be- woo. Listen, I, I agree with you. One day, the man like you put me on my toe. Oh. Listen, I one of the one, one of the questions that I ask guys, like when I'm conversing with them and stuff, with the purpose of I don't know about marriage because that's a little too much paperwork for me. But um, <laughs> uh, with talking to them, I always ask them about their ex, and then a lot of people say, "Why do you? That's in the past. Let the past be." Past. No, I need mm, to know. I need to know. Yeah, that's why. See, I need not, to know. So, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, and I always ask guys as well. I say, what's what's a flaw or two that she said that you need to work on? And then what's something that you know that you need to work on? Like people, mm. women, we need to ask y'all need to ask these questions, you know. But my um, thing is, I need to know about that past because I don't care what anybody says. Every woman and every man, we're so mentally messed up in this generation that basically 
almost everybody anybody runs into is damaged in some sort of way. We and all I got need damage. to know. I need to know where that damage is. You can. Okay. I know. I, I don't even look at me. Daniel, I'm gonna correct. You. I want to correct you because I don't want nobody tearing you up. I want everybody to respect him. So we're gonna use. We're gonna take away the D word. And we're going to replace with the oh, damage, damage. Yeah, like damage. Yeah, because some? some people might take offense. Okay. Oh, well, I know women going to take offense to that. So we're going to say baggage. Everybody come with a baggage. baggage. Everybody baggage. got a book. We're going to either use B oh, for baggage, oh, baggage or B it? for book. Because everybody I got apologize. a story. They come right. with a story. Or you come with a, a, a bag, an overnight bag, to-go bag, takeout bag. Everybody come with something. So, But don't think, don't think I was just talking hot, about women, though. Please. I know men, too. Men too. I'm about to say, please, please don't uh, think I was just talking about women because I was talking about both sexes. Like, yeah, I was but not we, just women, we like, y'all women are damaged. So, damage is a bad word because I swear I call men damaged goods. I call men that's what I that's what I, I use that too. And I didn't, that's what I said. I didn't know, I didn't know it was a, a, a disrespectful thing. And I, I really, I apologize. I didn't know it's it was not a disrespectful, disrespectful thing. thing. It's just like when listening to you talk, like I, I wish I could high five Ashley right now because in my mind, when listening to you talk, my first thought was like, I'm not damaged. I know, and, and, and I felt that for everybody because yeah, everybody's yeah, gonna yeah. say that. That's okay. why I was like, I get, I get that. One is damaged. Like, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people have gone through some stuff and stuff like that, but I would never consider myself as damaged. I consider that I may have some baggage, like Ashley said, because you know yeah. everybody has their own stuff that they. Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. I know I have baggage, but I wouldn't call me damaged. I wouldn't say that at all. Okay. Well, I definitely understand. I, I definitely understand that. But I didn't take it as offensive, though. I was no, just, I know, I know. For some, yeah. for anybody, if they did, I'm just saying. I wasn't saying that in that type of man. I'm just right. saying everybody has the baggage is basically what I was saying. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, I, and I think, I think women, women, <laughs> women, we can accept that a little bit more. We, we're more open to say, you know what? I did. I was raised in a single parent home. We didn't have this. But men, on the other hand, they can't like, take that. Yeah, they can't take because mm. it's a pride thing. It's an ego mm -hmm. thing. They be like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm a hunt. Man, I'm let me, let me tell down. you, it took me a long time for somebody to be able to tell me about myself and either use that word or say, hey, you know what I'm saying? You got some issues you need to work out because I always thought I was, you know what I'm saying? Just a, yeah. a great dude. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what. But I, you know, I still have things that I need to work on. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know yeah, what I'll it do. is. Like, I couldn't accept that. I couldn't accept somebody seeing my flaws. I already see my flaws. I don't need you to tell me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, I get that. I totally do. I totally get that. All right, so I think majority the so uh the question basically was um how do you feel about your new person um maintaining a friendship with their ex? Um we're 50 50 on it, like uh some of us are saying no, it's y'all done had your opportunity, move on, and then the other half is more like um as long as it's cordial, respectful, then I don't care, you know. All right, so we're gonna move on to the third question, um, which is um this question 